a ver, mami. Ya, mi amorcito. Ya, chupita. Está chiquita. Today it is May 10 and it's the day of the surgery for the poor. I'm already all ready and this is my outfit for today. So this is what I'm wearing. A comfy shirt and some sweatpants. So I will see you whenever I'm already at the hospital. Let me take your body. And once you get it, you can put it in this little, this other bag inside here. Okay. And leave it right here, and I'll come and get it. So I'm already in the hospital. I'm about to start changing into my gown and everything else that the nurse just gave me. So I'm about to change.
make sure that your um, secret information is correct if you can tell me your first, your last name, and your birthday. December 7, 1983, minutes of pain. All right, then, um, for your surgery, the surgery that you haven't done according to your contentions, left chest port placement with fluoroscopy and ultrasound. Does that sound right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Lay on back for me. So I'm already ready. I already have my cap and my gown. And also, all the nurses already came to prepare me for the surgery. So I am going to be going into surgery in a little bit. I do have a schedule for 9 o'clock. And right now, it is 8.30. So they already came and put my wristbands and also my IV. This is going to be the last time I ever see a IV on my hand or in my arm. So no more IVs on me. So finally my arms and my hands are finally gonna take a break and a rest from so many IVs that, that I've been getting for many years. So my veins are finally gonna heal up. So I'm just waiting on the doctor to come in and talk to me before the procedure for the port so que todo salga bien in my surgery hopefully everything goes well on the operation room and now it's gonna be a new chapter of my life with the port and the rest is gonna be history and next time I wake up I'm gonna be having the port so wish me luck on this surgery. So I will see you when the doctor comes. Your doctor will come and see you before you go to surgery. Okay. She is in surgery now and you will be next, okay? okay. So if it's delayed, it's because she's delayed. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, because I know she told me um, surgery was probably gonna be like scheduled for nine, but maybe until 11, something like yeah, that. Yeah, and it says to follow. So you're following her yeah. other case. So. No, that's fine. Okay. okay. All right. Well, good luck with surgery. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. How did the IV placement go? Was it okay? It was good. Okay. Good. I mean, they know my. I just worry because you sometimes have issues with blood. Yeah. So I'm glad that it went okay. It was okay. So the procedure will take about an hour. Um, once I'm all finished, I'll come out and find you guys and let you know everything was good. Okay. Any questions? Mm -hmm. Just letting my nerves go. It's normal up. to be nervous. Everybody's nervous. Surgery is a. You're nervous too, mommy. Uh -huh. yeah, I know, I know. So, like we talked about in the clinic, when you wake up, you'll be able to feel the port and you'll see an incision right above it. Okay. But you can't see it. Because mm -hmm. it's going to be inside the Under the skin. Under yes. the skin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You'll get an x-ray in the recovery room so I can make sure everything is safe and good. Okay. Um, but yeah, everything's pretty straightforward. Okay. Sounds good. Then. Okay. Yeah. I'll see you back there soon. All right. Thank and then I'll see you guys there. soon after that. Okay. okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Five minutes later. We're going to head back for surgery. Okay. Her own words, just tell me what procedure you're having done. I'm going to be getting a port on my left side of my chest. Okay, the left side. Did she uh, yeah, put really a mark? It. Okay, yeah. can I just check make sure? Okay, perfect. All right. A little longer than a few minutes later. We'll be, I'll be back in 30 minutes. Okay, bye. Yeah, I'm a mosquito. Está chiquito, mire. Aquí estamos. Muele. Ay, mi amor, ya. Ahorita ya, mamá. Ya. Las te van a dar una medicina. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, so, 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 so
Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is my two weeks post op follow up appointment to check out my pore to make sure that everything is healing well. So I will see you whenever I'm already at the clinic with the doctor. Okay. okay. It looks good. The first couple of days after the procedure, mm -hmm. yeah, like I was just in bed, like it was hard. Do you ever take any insects like ibuprofen or anything like that? I just took one day Tylenol after I ran out from the medication you had given me. Okay. So, what happens sometimes to people is that they'll the pain will start. Mm -hmm. And then it's kind of like a cycle of pain yeah. and it has troubles. We have to like break that cycle basically. Mm -hmm. So I want you to take some Tylenol again. I want you to also take Advil okay. two times per day. Okay. And then I'm going to send a muscle relaxer for you called Robaxin. Okay. And this is a kind that doesn't make you sleepy or anything okay. like that. So I want you to try that. It's just like the discomfort mm -hmm. at night. Like. Okay. Do you also, uh -oh, there we go. heating pad, do you have a heating pad? No. So you can do, and just put that there, because the inflammation, the heat will help to decrease that. Yeah, because I will feel like out of nowhere, like, like you know, like, oh, like I want to scratch so bad, so I don't know if it's like the healing already, like, mm -hmm. the little, probably, yes. Like, it's like, yes. scratching out, you know, chain, yeah. yeah, and I'm like, oh, I just want to scratch, so I'm like, but I'm still mm -hmm. scared to Well, touch it. it should be well healed. Or at least I've still got some healing to do, but it should be enough to where you could touch. So that's what I was going to say next is to do some massage. Okay. Because we know that actually the massage will help the nerves to not be as reactive. So try to just gently massage around there. And you can use any type of cream that has a, is like a medical cream. So like get some Neosporin or Bacitrase or anything like that. And then you can put it over the incision and that will help with the scar too. And then gently massage around it and then up in your neck and do your best to massage. It'll hurt at first. Yeah. Slowly start to do some stretching too. Okay. Because all of that will help because the more that you kind of keep everything not moving, your body is going to start to tense all those muscles. Mm -hmm. So that's why I think the muscle relaxer will help a lot. And I'll send that and I'll send some more of these to your pharmacy. Yeah. Okay. But it looks good. Okay. So I think just start off with stretches, don't though. Don't do chores yet until you feel like stretches are going well so do things like just gently lifting your arms up you can put your arm up a wall yeah and you know because of where it is it's near your arm and your chest and even your head so it can cause some pain but it should get better so that's when I'm like maybe at night that's the reason why because it's like I'm so discomfort like finding the right spot to sleep mm -hmm. so it's like I wake I can sleep like 11 and wake up like one mm -hmm. and then I go back to sleep and I wake up like at three or four. I know. The mm -hmm. sleep is like it like comes and goes and until I get like I'm fully falling asleep it's like around six mm -hmm. until like I found my right mm -hmm. spot. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Alright I'm gonna add another medicine and it's a nerve medicine and it will maybe make you a little bit sleepy but maybe that would help you at night. And for the shower, because the few days I was just doing it like this with soap. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So now, like, the water can hit on mm -hmm. it. Yeah. You can let the uh, soap and water go directly on it now. Okay. So they gave me this during the hospital to give it to you. I don't know if I had to keep it. Or well, this is for you to show to the people when you get any uh, transfusions. Okay. Because it just talks about the type of catheter you have. Okay. So that they know. So since I am going to be having a blood transfusion next week okay. over, over the cream? cream over the cream yes so. yes i will do that let me write that down so that i remember so it's called imla okay and i'll order for you when i order these other meds yeah, okay about to eat some good ramen aquí con el primo one nap little is it next 
day after my two weeks post op follow appointment. So after I left the clinic, I did ended up going to grab something to eat with my cousin. And after I got home, I ended up taking a nap. So by the time I woke up, it was already a little bit late to give y'all the update from my appointment. But my two weeks post op follow appointment went really good that the doctor ended up telling me that the incision was looking really great and the area around the port was looking really nice and good so i'm thankful about that that the healing is going really well and she did also ended up prescribing me more pain medication since there are days where the pain comes and goes so she ended up prescribing me that and also some muscle relax since the area of the port does make my arm hurt since it's not used to it being around that area so each time that I want to move my arm up and down all side by side it hurts really bad so she ended up giving me that as well and she did tell me to start massaging the area little by little so that way my pork can get used to my body and also to do some exercise and she also ended up prescribing me and recommending me some numbing cream for the area of my pork for me to wear for my blood transfusion since I am going to be getting one really soon so it's going to be the very first blood transfusion that I'm going to be receiving through my pore so that's why she recommend me the numbing cream for me to put so whenever they put the IV through the pore it won't hurt as much before getting it it probably gonna hurt a little bit but hopefully it doesn't so I hope that they uh, my blood transfusion that I'm gonna receive through my port goes smooth but besides that everything went okay at my appointment so now my recovery whew, it's been going I must or menos little by little I like llevo but for the first few days it was a little challenge and overwhelmed because for the first few days I was in a lot of pain a lot of soreness a lot discomfort and it was really um, bruised up and swollen like the area around the incision and the pore you can already imagine pretty much after having the procedure but right now as the day passed by it's going really good little by little the pain is going less and less and the swollen and the bruise is going away as well it was really uncomfortable throughout the night for me to sleep because uh, I couldn't find the right spot for me to finally sleep because if I would sleep on my right side all the pressure will go towards my pore and if I would turn to my left side pues me estaba lastimando mi pore so it was hurting really bad so the only way I could sleep throughout the night for the few days it was flat with a pillow next to me and my arm being on top of it but after a while like it was getting really uncomfortable because I like to move around like sleep on my side and I couldn't but all I like llevo little by little I'm sleeping on my left side even if it hurts a little bit but I need to get used to it and also on my right side but so far my sleep at night has been getting a little bit better but 
I am gonna be showing you my incision and my pour for the very first time. So if you don't wanna see this clip, you can fast forward a little bit if you don't wanna see the incision or the pour, but the incision doesn't look really bad. It just looks like a scratch, pretty much. So this is how it looks. So this is the incision. And this is the pour right here. So así se mira de enfrente. And whenever I turn to the left side, you can see the pour, the little bump. But yeah, this is how the pore looks under my skin and how it's going to be looking through the outside of my body, on my chest for the rest of my life. And at first, I really thought that it was going to be really big that you were going to notice it, like how on the picture that I had put on my previous video. But after I seen it for the very first time at the hospital, I was like, oh, it's not that bad, it's little. But so I'm getting used to it little by little since I am not used to having a catheter inside me. So this is how I am gonna have to be living with it. But also, I am gonna be putting some pictures right here of how the incision and the area around the pore healing but I am also going to be putting a small clip right here uh, the very first time that I clean up the incision and the area around the pore in the shower for the very first time after a few days after the procedure so, but so far my recovery has been going really good. I'm just taking it day by day until I am fully recovered from the outside and the inside of my incision. So this will be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this vlog, me bringing you along for my pore surgery my two weeks post off and also giving you my recovering update so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you on my next video bye